Sorry Virgos, part two. The reading special is up on my website for anyone who's interested. TarotBarbie.com, 48 hours only. TarotBarbie.com. Uh, so in this one, I was just saying that you guys have just gone through a lot of stuff in your life, but I feel like everything is going to be okay. There might be a little bit of challenges, but still everything is going to be okay. And I think in the end, it's like whatever anyone has tried to plot and plan on you on the five of swords or the five of wands, you guys are not dealing with this shit at all. You guys are sick and tired of the pettiness, the bullshit. You guys are just going to stay focused on making sure that you guys are taken care of and it is what it is. And... Anyone who tries to come up against you, they're going to be hitting this tower energy over here because whatever they may have tried to bring on to you, you're going to handle your business no matter what and you will take fast action on it and you don't appreciate anyone trying to bother you with the world card to the Knight of Swords. Everyone, I don't know what everyone's thinking with the moon card. Like, yo, you think that you, you think you can get your shit done in the dark? Everything you do in the dark always comes to light. So no matter what, everything will be seen for exactly what it is. With the Six of Cups, there's somebody from the past who wants to return back towards you guys. Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person is thinking a lot. They want to communicate with you and they're coming in hot. Like they're this someone's coming in hot. They're coming in hot because they want to speak to you and they want to figure out a way that you guys are going to be able to maybe build your relationship. But I think in the end, it's like you guys have been sitting here waiting for maybe two months or two years or something like this for this person to come talk to you guys. But in the end, it's like uh what are you guys gonna do but i think in the end what's happening is you guys are choosing to defend yourself from this person um because you don't feel like you want to be a part of their negative shit and you don't feel like you want to be jumping up for somebody who was able to quickly maybe dip out of your life so it's like so you're choosing to defend yourself with the seven of wands and set your boundaries with the page of Cups, I see an apology coming towards you guys, but it's almost like you don't want to hear anything this person has to say with the pages. You're like, yeah, fuck you and fuck your apology too. That's literally how I see it. You're like, I don't want nothing to do with it. You're like, you're so focused on the five of swords at this point that no matter what the page of cups says to you to be apologize to you, whatever, you don't give a shit. You don't, you don't give a shit. You remember how unhappy you honestly were with the, with the sun in reverse to the five of swords to the nine. You're like, holy shit. When you were in my energy, you gave me stress. You fucking... You cause pain, you were manipulative, you were gassy, like, and you guys are knowing now with the lessons, the Knight of Coins, that you're better off moving away from the situation, because you might be indecisive again, like, oh, should I take you back, should I not, but I think in the end, it's like, you're not, you will not, I promise you, Virgos, you will not forget what this person has done to you, not now, not in 10 years, not in the next 20 years, and maybe not in the next life. You're always going to hold some sort of resentment toward this person because love is supposed to be love. You don't you don't treat people like this. Love is kindness. Love is patience. Love is sincere and compassionate. And someone here didn't have the ability to be able to bring you that energy towards you. So you cannot forget. Your mind is still remembers, well, I loved you, but you did this back in turn to me? The fuck out of here. So you're not happy about it. So... In the end, it's like you're not choosing to move forward in that situation because you need to see the truth, you need to see the clarity, you need to see the actions, Ace of Swords, Chariot Cards, Seven of Cups, and I think in the end, it's like Spirit Things are going to bring you so much options in any area of your life that you really are going to have to figure that out on your time, how Spirit chooses to help you out with the King of Wands, Ten of Swords, King of Cups, so now that Aries, Leo, Sagittarius wants to come towards you and tell you how much they love you and they want to build with you. But I think in the end, it's like with the Five of Cups death card. Maybe you guys are mourning a situation. Uh, but I think you guys are going to be okay. Uh, it looks like you guys will be okay anyway. This is some sort of news is coming in. You might be hearing some sort of news uh, regarding the Five of Cups and the death card. And it's obviously not going to be the best news. But uh, you will be mourning that. And I send out my love. Uh, to anyone who is dealing with something like this. Uh, with the Hierophant 501s, <sighs> you guys will be okay. All right? You will still be okay. The angels, every, everyone is, whoever this energy belongs to, they will be ascending spiritually and they will make their way up to the angels. With 
the Page of Wands, Scorpio, Aries, Lucifer, Sagittarius, Taurus energy, they're trying to figure out a way to come out of this energy where they're no longer happy anymore. They want to put an end to this relationship or vice versa. You guys might be wanting to still fight for the relationship, but I think in the end, you guys are done with the fighting. It's a struggle. You guys just want to bring peace, and I think you're going to be a lot more better on your own with the Nine of Cups, at least for now. If you guys can actually bring peace to your relationship with the Temperance card and the Nine of Cups, and I'd say, yeah, continue to build your relationship. Stop the fighting. Stop the bullshit. Stop trying each other. Stop, stop fucking trying each other. You're in a relationship. What are you trying each other for, right? So if you guys can get over that shit, you guys can actually have a really good, you guys could, you guys could have a good relationship if you want to. If you don't want to, then you can end up over here happy in a relationship, but still broken fucking hearted because you're all be fucking greedy as fuck and nobody wants to help out with nothing. and Everyone is penny pinching and, and fucking acting crazy. So that's up to you. You want to be happy or you want to be heartbroken? What do you want? You got a great relationship, but you're, ha you're heartbroken. Why? Why? So with the nine of wands, the five of pentacles, you don't give a fuck about nothing at this point. You're like, I've been through, you've been through it all. You've suffered a lot. You've struggled a lot. You got enemies left, right, and center. The darkness, the bullshit, the fuck shit. You've been through towers, pun towers. You're picky. You're annoyed. You're like, when the fuck is life going to be coming towards you? Seven of pentacles. And I think in the end, it's like, you guys are going to just get so fucking pissed off to the point where you're just going to be simply like, yo, everyone get the fuck out of your way. You want life? Go get life. You want to go get $100 million a year? Go freaking find a way to go do it. You're going to literally start taking action on the things that you want. With the emperor to a cups hangman, there might be a relationship coming in with, from an emperor. There's, you guys got a great connection with each other, but maybe it might be stagnated with the four of swords and the hangman. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Because the moment you guys get the truth of clarity and like meditate on it, maybe sleeping on it, whatever the case is, you guys go back to being in a relationship again with the lovers, can of cups and the four of cups. Nothing's actually wrong in this energy. It's normal for anyone to say, you know what? I don't want to hang out today. I just want to rest. And then you guys go back. It's give it a second for you guys to actually miss each other. People don't know how to like, everyone always wants to be connected, like, like stuck on, like, what do you want to be stuck, stuck on to somebody for? Learn to miss each other. So that way you guys, when you see each other, you're happy to see each other. You're not fucked up at the bottom of the deck. You got the two of pentacles. Six of Pentacles and the Empress card. It looks like there's a decision you guys are going to end up having to make on whether or not you want to move forward. You will end up using your Empress energy to do what it is that you guys need to do to bring in the balance that you guys need. A lot of negative energy could possibly be hitting the Three of Cups. Anyone that is gossiping, hindering, hurting you, harming you, delaying you, bothering you, whatever the fuck what, they're going to be getting their karma while you get your happiness. Somebody here is like a time shift. It's like a time shift, time shift. What does a time shift mean? Time shift, a shift in time, a shift in time. Maybe their good karma is going to turn into bad karma and then your bad, that bad shit that you guys are going through is, is going to end up turning into good karma because you guys got justice on your side. You got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups and whatever the fuck this motherfucker over here is trying to do onto you guys with the Seven of Swords. Somebody here swears a whole lot. You swear a whole lot, but I can't say nothing to you because people who swear a lot are actually, you have... Uh, you are very intelligent. Ace of Cups. So you guys are trying to reflect on the Ace of Cups right now. There could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Virgo who's reflecting on a relationship or on love. All right? You guys, this person might be trying to find a way to come back towards you guys. It looks like they want to walk towards you and let you know they want to present you with some sort of offer. You guys look like you've been single for a really long time and you guys are happy, but you're also go lucky. You guys are not going to really be talking to nothing and nobody right now. You're going to kind of stay silent and mind your own business with the Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like you guys are also going to get the healing that you need on the Six of Swords. There is a lot of negative shit around you guys with the Devil card, uh, Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. You guys will be able to overcome this Devil. This Devil ain't shit for you. You guys can handle it. Any toxic relationship, any Devil, any low vibration, any addiction, whatever it is that you guys might be going through or whatever it is that you guys are dealing with or whoever it is you guys got in your energy that is just fuck shit, you guys look like you're going to put an end to it with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, you're very kind and nurturing and grounded. You're passionate. You got shit happening in for your life. But you also don't take no shit from nobody. And this is where everyone get mistakes your energy. They always look at you like you're the queen of pentacles. But in the end, it's like, no, nah, I'm the queen of swords. You'll fucking destroy them. People really underestimate your strength and your power. They also underestimate you on who it is that you are and what energy you carry. 
And there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's in the energy, who's getting fucked up at the moment with the Eight of Swords for trying to do something onto you with the Eight of Pentacles. And there are fucked up on a whole other level, Ten of Wands, and they are a fool. Somebody here, there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's a friggin' fool for trying you, for coming up against you, for underestimating you and also underestimating your protection. This Queen of Cups is gonna be in their mind and they're probably already in their mind because you have been overcoming their bullshit. This person really thought that they can try you on the Eight of Pentacles, but that fool card, they got the warning and the warning was, yo, don't do it, don't do it, but you did it anyway and now you're going to have to deal with the Ten of Wands. This Queen of Cups is going to act like they're so kind to you to your face, but I'm telling you right now, Virgos, this Queen of Cups is suffering on a mental level. They're all the way fucked up. They're having stress. They're having anxiety. They're fearful. They're overthinking. They're paranoid. They can't really sleep because of, of what they did to you. And they're carrying all that negative shit because you guys keep sending it, sending it, sending it, taking care of yourself, handling it, cleaning it, whatever the fuck you guys do. You guys are taking care of yourselves no matter what. And somebody here, they tried to send you that div that devil, that devil, devil, devil. Uh, they won't even let me say it. <laughs> Devo. <Deep. laughs> they tried to send you that dirty energy. <laughs> they tried to send you that dirty energy. And you're like, bitch, I've already been here before. Don't fucking bother me. Queen of Pentacles. You're like, let me show you who I really am. Right? Because you had to. You had no choice. And you showed them. You showed the devil. Listen. I know you heard of, you're like, you're like, I know you heard about me, but I know you don't know who I am and what I'm capable of. So you take your wand, you're like, get out of here, bitch. Bing, bing, bing. And then you just like smash this devil out of his fucking asshole. Then you go to the queen of Sergio, I'm a slayer ass. So then all the angels, they come through and then your army comes through. And then you're just like, fuck you. Um, the strength, you got, you got your strength card going on, you're protected, you're good, the angels divine are all coming in for you, you got butterflies all around you, you got the angels uh, taking care of you, loving you, and they're also going to guide you, and they're going to put this queen of cups in her fucking place for, for disrespecting you, disrespecting your energy, and also underestimating you. You are somebody who is very strong and very powerful and who's very much so loved by the spiritual realm. So if this Queen of Cups thought that she was on some stupid shit, she really going to find out just now how fucked up she is. She's a fool. She's an idiot with the fool card. Then nobody want to fuck with someone who's a fool. fool. A fool to think that they can underestimate you. A fool to undermine you. A fool to think that they can try you. A fool to think that they can do something to you without you trying to defend yourself nah you look like you smash this person right out and you they all fucked up with the ten of wands regardless though virgos you're strong you're protected and you are loved by the most high and anyone who tries to come up against you you will be able to see that they are suffering with the eight of swords this will be right in front of you in some sort of way shape and form you will be seeing it and you're not dealing with no one's bullshit yeah you're nice and kind but you put shit to an end immediately with that queen of swords you be slaying everyone out and i I think it's time that you pull out your sword and handle your fucking business not physically spiritually thanks cuties oh wait also the reading special is up on my website for anyone who's interested 48 hours only you can purchase as many as you like you can save some it doesn't matter 48 hours only tarotbarbie.com thanks cuties bye